My name is Zasta, and I'm interested to bring the open water swimming community together at Zastra Zils. Today I'm telling the story of Ukrainian swimmer Vladimir. The video is about Vladimir's swimming history and his reasons for swimming. Vladimir started swimming at the age of 16. His main event was the 200 meter breaststroke and he achieved pleasing results as a teenager. However, at the age of 22, he suffered an unfortunate eye injury, had eye surgery, and the door to competitive swimming was closed. But for almost 40 years, he swam for personal well-being, enjoying the sea, even living in Tunisia on the seashore. He was diagnosed with myopia minus four. Vladimir could hardly see anything in the water with his ordinary swimming goggles. Then, about 10 years ago, he invested in prescription swimming goggles and it was like being born again. Vladimir, now at the age of 60 years, saw everything underwater. This spurred him on to start open water swimming as he's actually never seen the incredible underwater life. So he started swimming more. He swam at local pools and he chose vacations at the sea, constantly increasing his swimming volumes. But his big turning point was seven years ago when he bought a Garmin Phoenix swimming tracking watch. Then his life really began to change because he could now track both swimming pool and sea swims accurately. But you know, life happens, doesn't it? Vladimir had to have a short interval from swimming after heart surgery. But after the surgery, even against the recommendation of doctors, he began swimming more going three to four times per year to the sea for a short vacation. This includes the Mediterranean Sea to Tunisia, the Red Sea to Egypt, and in September, traditionally to Bulgaria, the Black Sea, and the breathtaking Sarebo with its many stunning small bays and lagoons. On vacation, Vladimir swims two to five kilometers daily. Vladimir reckons that from all these swims, the Black Sea is the safest, as their jellyfish are not poisonous. In Bulgaria, he found two sea mines, and it seems that men and their war is making even these waters dangerous. Well, Vladimir found the Red Sea most dangerous because of its shocks. His advice is to be accompanied by a canoe and a lifeguard when you swim in the Red Sea. Oh, thank you, Vladimir. Congratulations with your recent Bosphorus swim. And all the best for many happy years of swimming. Follow Vladimir on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all his pages to see more about this inspiring, young of heart, gentleman. Instagram, Instagram, Mediterranean Sea, yay! I can say it!